Yo, I'm back. This is Doug Girl in the house. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be telling you my daily routine with my guinea pig. So let's go. So normally in the morning, I wake up and go down my stairs and sit on a bench. I normally watch two YouTube videos, and then I go in the hallway, turn on the lights, and I go into the guinea pig room. When I go into there, there's a light hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> it's a lamp. And then you turn it on. I did make a DIY cage. Um, it's made out of a dog kennel. We just put them together and it's very spacious. We um, zip tied um, them together. So yeah, and we also screwed it to the wall. So, um, we made a hay rack out of a flower pot, so that was very helpful. So, um, so that, that one is, the more brown one is Memphis, and the one in the pig glue is Allie. So this is the kind of food I feed them. I feed them morning and afternoon. Um, I feed them one half of a cup morning and night. And I pour it in their bowl. Then I put it back in, and then I don't know exactly what kind of hay I need. No, I don't know exactly what kind of hay I use, but I use that a kind of hay. And then I fill up their water bottle. And then I go up the stairs. because I don't have a sink downstairs, so I have to go upstairs. Me. So then I open it and it's hard to get off because I screw it very tightly. And then um, I dump it out. Rinse it out. I rinse it out very good because I don't want there to be any of my dirt in there. Or there shouldn't be. So then I fill it up. And set it to the side. And then I wash off um, the part that they drink from because that has to be um, jammy. So I just wash it off so then it can be fresh. And then I put on the top. I don't put it on too tight because I have to put things in the water. And then I go back downstairs where the guinea pigs are. Open the door. And um, I use this vitamin D and C and uh, I put drops in their water. I normally put two to three drops in the water.
and then I put the top back on and I screw it very tightly. And I shake it so um, the vitamins can get mixed up in the water. I put it back in the cage. So then, that's good. And um, you're probably wondering why I have a ball. I will never, ever, ever, ever put guinea pigs in a ball. It's just I had gerbils before, and I put them in a ball. So I just put it in their, um, put it in their cage, and they can maybe play with it, um, hide underneath it, maybe kick it around. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I'll never put them in a ball. So, then, we got, that's, um, that's Allie. She has ringworm, so we ordered stuff online to take care of that. And, yeah. So, um, this is my guinea pig, Memphis. She is brown, black, and white, and she is really cute, and I love her. This one is um, Allie. She's the one who has ringworm, and she has a little brown on her butt. Um, every morning, I give them their morning pea flake. They just take it on my hands. So right now, Allie is being a turd. So, and then she, um, then she finally takes the pea flake. And she's like, oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Here everything is. So, um, after um, I went upstairs for a while, I came back downstairs like at 10 and I decided to clean the cage. So here it is. And I already cleaned that side. I decided to go with fleece. So yeah. So um, I'm sweeping away here and it's kind of hard to see, but um, I sweep it into one corner, and then um, uh, I pick it up with um, my dustpan, and I put it into the garbage, and then um, I get right back to work, and sweeping it, and sweeping it, and sweeping it. I decided to take the water bottle out because it was getting in the way of um, my cleaning. So then I go to the garbage. Keep sweeping. Picking it um, up with my dustpan and putting it into the garbage. And then I finally decide to um, roll puppy pads. I do have puppy pads under um, me so the pee doesn't go on the um, bottom, but it still does, so I roll it up. And then I fold it. I fold it and um, then I lift it up and I put it in the garbage can. But then there's still some stuff in the cage so then I quickly um, get the brush and um, I keep 
brush it, I keep um, sweeping it until it goes into a corner. And then um, I um, put it into my um, I put it into my uh, into my dustpan. I scoop it up, and then I put it into the garbage. So then, once everything's out of there, I take um, a bottle which is filled with vinegar and dish soap, and I spray it on the bottom of the cage. And then <clears throat> I take... Um, I take a wipe and I wipe it down. Get all the dirt that I left in there from the broom. And then there's still more dirt in there, so I grabbed another wipe and I wiped it down a little bit more. And then I go to grab puppy pads. <clears throat> Because I think puppy pads are very important when, um, yeah. So I grab it and I put it in the cage. And try to make it even. Flatten it down. Take out my glove. Take off my gloves because I'm gonna put in the bedding. I don't need my gloves anymore. And then I I go and grab the bedding. And then I pour some in, not a lot, because you don't want to run to the grocery store. And then I go ahead and spread it. Sorry. Till it gets all flat. Then I put the bedding back where I found it. And this is behind the hay rack. So, um, yeah. I put, refill the hay rack. And then um, I get the toys and put it, um, back into the that side and then I grab another rock and put it on that another side then I put the water bottle back in
And yeah. That guy's name's Allie. They're both girls, by the way. And they're just babies. So then, um, when it's like three o'clock, I go downstairs because I need to feed the guinea pigs again and I need to feed them vegetables. Memphis does not like most of the vegetables. Like, she doesn't like any of them, but Allie will eat all of them. So I try to give it to her, but then she doesn't eat it. So then um, I go to, and then we have to go to the store. And the only thing she'll eat is pep bell peppers. So yeah, I just got done um, giving one fourth um, of the food. This guy's Memphis, the one who doesn't eat the vegetables. Then this is the one with ringworm, Allie. She is like shaking. And then, that is what I keep the vegetables in cause they don't eat a lot of vegetables. And I put water, there's like um, celery, um, lettuce, carrots in there. As you can see, I'm trying to give um, Memphis one, but she won't take it. <laughs> but then this is Allie, and she eats it like a champ. And then I put their um, their vegetables on a rock, and any time they can go and eat it. I just gave Allie some celery, put some celery on the rock. So that is my daily guinea pig routine. Please give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below.